Hello, what's up? Welcome back. Time uh, for the legend stage. Let's crack straight into it, mate. As they say, as my man uh, Pestilli. Any Tarkov fans out there? But uh, yeah, let's let's get straight into it. It's me, the Hat Man. You know, back with another hat and uh, another video. I was um, reliably informed by a, a, a good friend of mine that uh, my camera was in the way somewhat, and that is fair. That is that is a little oversight. So we're, go we're gonna move it. Just up here. That's what I thought. You know, this is 3-0. You know that that's... Maybe maybe we go here. There you go, mate. There you go. You can't really complain about that. Now the camera's just in a real random spot that doesn't make any sense. But you can see the screen. And that's all that matters. Maybe... Maybe here? No, I just... That's a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway. Um, yeah. So let's, let's move into it. Let's uh, have a little check back with where we left off. Uh, pretty narrow, pretty pretty narrow there. You know, the going with my heart of complexity, the sort of um and R and Forza, obviously ends. You don't get it if they go through and it's not 3-0. Um, and then, you know, we got Astralis. Shit in the bed. Uh, okay, so Legends. Right, so once again, 03 might be a little easier this time. I think picking a 3-0 is always a bit of a challenge. Um, I actually did a show today that was sort of based around the Pickums. I did a little podcast thing. So I have reset these, uh, and I'm going to talk through a little bit for the YouTube. So we'll see if I can remember. You know, I've not got it up or anything, so I'm, I'm still going to walk through and go with my same logic. So we'll see if I start convincing myself out of picks that I'd already gone for, right? Um, but in terms of getting through, so once again, we can kind of throw in a, a few teams that I feel are going to do well. we got Heroic. we got the Furia. We got the Na'Vi, it's actually Furia, uh, not Furia, but I've heard, anyway, we got the G2, we got the Vitality, okay? These feel, based on what we saw in the challenges, based on their current run of form, and based on the teams that they, you know, the ceiling that they're able to achieve, these feel like the best teams. Or the easiest, not, maybe not the best teams, but the easiest teams to predict which way they're going through. Now, FaZe, FaZe is obviously also in, included in this, but FaZe, for me... Maybe fits in a 3-0. If, if we're a real believer. Now, I lost a bet, but I have the phase tattoo. Uh, I did lose a bet, but I have the tattoo. Um, so, we'll see here. So, now comes... Let's talk through the other teams that we got here, right? Uh, roll through. I went very quick there, actually. But we got Heroic, Copenhagen Flames, Big, Cloud9, Furia, uh, previously Players, previously Gambit, uh, Phase Clan, NIP, Na'Vi, G2, Vitality, and Spirit. Outsiders, previously VP, um, Imperial, Bad News Eagles, and Team Liquid. Funnily enough, picture is a horse. Um, so, like I've said, these feel like going through, might lose, could potentially 3-0, but I want to get some safe picks. you got to get five correct. I think these five are going to be correct. Okay. That's kind of my logic. We're working a little. We're working a little harder towards that diamond coin this time, rather than going, "Haha, vote." You know, I like complexity. Let's, you know, pour my heart out. I like, I like, I like these guys. They're really, you know, I, I don't, I, I can't put anyone in that I like. I don't care. I like Ents, but I don't think they're going to make it. Um, I think they'll come close, but I don't think they're going to make it. I like Big. I don't know, Big, bigger uh, enigma, a benigma, if if you will. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the O3 here. So your obvious candidates are Imperial, Spirit, Bad News Eagles, possibly Copenhagen Flames. Now, Copenhagen Flames, the online run, the post-major run, the short post-major Terrible, but we kind of know there was a lot going on. They were maybe signing with complexity, maybe not. The deal fell through. Very, very sad, very difficult, a lot to deal with. They have since picked it up. That was, you know, just before the end of uh, last year. They have since picked it up online, but still not quite like uh, the level that they were hitting at the previous major and everything. But come to the RMR, qualify third. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, I think they qualified third, maybe second. But they, they qualified, obviously, they qualified highly because they're straight in. Um, so, straight in at Legends, I mean. So, um, based on kind of some of the performances that we had here, 
I now I came out on this podcast and I said that I feel like Imperial, if if it all goes to shit and there's a lot of chaos and there's you know like uh, T heroic loses to spirit or whatever, you know, I'm not saying that's going to be a matchup for them. I've not looked that deep into it as yet because I like to keep it a little fresh. But um, you know, if if upsets happen, basically bad news eagles pull off the upsets. If if big to a certain extent take down a massive name like Navi or whatever then I feel Imperial are a team that could maybe weave through that and, and find their way at least into a later round. Not necessarily into the playoffs, but at least into a later round. So I don't think that Imperial are going to go 0-3, actually. Now, what I went with originally, and I think I'm going to stick with it, is Spirit. Spirit, I feel, have overperformed. They had some relatively easy matchups. The only difficult game they had was against G2. They did bring it close, but all the same, it was a best of one. Um, and and other teams, I think they had Imperial, they had Forza, you know, they had some relatively easy uh, matchups. No, no super deep challenges in the challenger stage. So I feel like they have overperformed a little bit. You also, like, you've got Ents of the team that are like run of form, trajectory, boom, boom, but they made it to second at Pro League. That's pretty legit. Uh, Spirit of the team where, um, you know, if you look at their HLTV, kind of where their where their placing's been at they were like eighth ninth you know towards the middle of uh 21 and then it just kind of goes boom like <laughs> right right at the end of the summer it just drops into the bin um partly because you lose players and that affects your score sure but then they were like okay we'll try this super fresh new team then they brought chopper back then you know and and now they've got two newer members but they've been kicking and basically I think they're on a bit of a honeymoon period. Teams finally together. You know, Chopper and, and Magic's uh, back playing proper Counter-Strike again. Degster as well. Um, and you have the two angles of surely that's... It's such a sharp, you know, trajectory that surely that's got to at least plateau, not necessarily crash off. And this would be biggest tournament of the year, best teams ever, you know, or best teams at the moment. Um, this would be the place for it to plateau off. Second, Dexter is a big, big one. Orping at the moment, as it has been for a good while now, gets all the stats, all the numbers, super important. You can't just survive with a super strong rifler like you maybe could a few years ago. Um, and Dexter, for me, has never really performed against the top-level team. So I think Dexter will shit the bed, and I think Spirit will struggle, therefore. So, 3-0 pick. Now... Initially, I put FaZe, because I like I got the tattoo. I like FaZe. I lost a bet, but I got the tattoo. Um, and they are, by all accounts, the best team at the moment going to win the major. Now, do they get the 3-0? You know, your risk here is like, FaZe got to, absolutely got to be a shoe in to go through. So if I'm playing the meta game, See, this is what I thought about earlier. So if, if you watch that podcast, if you see it, I'll, I'll link it below because I think it's up. If you see it, you'll see that I've got the phase on the 3-0. And I give the reasons and all of us are sat there like, yeah, well, you know, logical choice to win the major. It's got to be phase. So, yeah. But if they don't go through 3-0, I don't get the point even if they do go through. You see? So I'm thinking, although in my heart of hearts, and I might kick myself a little bit if they do go 3-0, I'm thinking it is a safer bet because I've got these five teams. I've said, I think they're going to go through sure, right? I feel pretty good. But there is a chance that one of them, your Vitality, maybe, is is one of the more likely teams, again, you know, um, of this ilk to to drop down uh, because against the top teams, you know, they were built to be a championship winning team. They've not really done that. They make it through challenges, sure, and they make it through cleanly, sure, but that's not the problem. These players should be putting those teams away pretty easily. The problem is, when it comes against their peers, you know, against the G2s and the Na'Vi's, that at one time, the amalgam, sure, of two teams, but at one time, Astralis and Vitality were beating, um, they're now not doing that. And they're now actually struggling big style. So there's a chance that a team like Vitality could drop out. So, for the meta game, I know I'm changing my mind, but that's what you're allowed to do, and I'm only changing it slightly. Still think FaZe will get through, but I don't want to take the chance that they drop a map in a best of one or they drop a series towards the end to an on-fire, you know, G2 or a revitalized Na'Vi or an unstoppable kind of uh, uh, furier as we see every now and then. And I don't get the point. So to go 3-0, I'm going to 
I'm going to go Cloud9. I'm going to go Cloud9. I've always liked the org. Always liked the org. Love the, uh, obviously, major winning Cloud9 team. And uh, I think this whole new organization behind them will, after a topsy-turvy time with the world situation, will give them a fire in their belly to get through, sure. But I think there's maybe a chance that they really surprise some people, at least in this stage. Now, when it comes to playoffs, I don't know. But here, I think they will surprise some people. Now, last one. We got Liquid. Looked okay. Get that. 3-2. Looked okay. We got Big, where I know like the ceiling of this team is way higher than it is currently. Got the Copenhagen Flames. I don't know. They don't do it for me. Got the Ents. Love the Ents team. Got the Outsiders. Of course, VP made it to playoffs last time. Um, same sort of team, but we're walking on eggshells with this team. Yakindar, is he staying? Is he going? Don't know, mate. Probably going, to be honest, if I had to put money on it. So, I'm not sure. NIP. Now, NIP, I had in last time. I got flamed on this podcast for having NIP. It's not only a bit, but I still got flamed. Um, I'm still believing in. I'm still believing in. I think that they look dodgy role-wise, but I feel like they could make their, their way around. It's definitely not a full sell. Again, if there were another team that I've picked here that would have to drop out, it's probably them. But I think Brolin will carry them through a couple of best of ones. And then they just got to secure... I think they'll go 2-0, actually. And then they may struggle in the best of threes against some of your stronger teams that come up here. It's very hard to predict. Because I think Ents are also on a great run of form and they will have been prepping for this. They will have been so confident in, in winning and getting through the uh, challenger stage. So ready for that. Teams that they usually play against. Teams that they, you know, six months ago uh, absolutely ruined. And now they've built their way up. And now they're ready for the big leagues. And they will be so ready for this. And there is a chance, I think, that they could fly through. I think I've convinced myself. I think I just convinced myself with that. I got—I had Madden on for the interview. We're on the YouTube. Got to live by the YouTube rules. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Ents, and I'm actually gonna switch up my NIP. But I'm updating the picks. I think this is the way. Now it's immortalized in video on my channel. You know, uh, I'm gonna do it. Usually I do them a little bit later. And you know, I, like I say, I had this podcast, so I had to get them done in the morning. And you know, and get it sorted, get a screenshot tucked and, and all that. Um, so there were a couple in there that I was like, mm, you know. Um, I'd definitely love to put the phase, but I can't take the chance. I am more confident that phase will go through than uh, them getting a 3-0. Yeah, so we'll see here. Oh, it's, it's a hard one, mate. Playoffs is going to be absolutely fucking impossible, let me tell you that. All right, anyway, so thank you very much for watching, gamers. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll leave a link to that podcast that I've been going on about where we, uh, myself, Retro, Eternal J, and uh, Travis, you know, we talk a little bit about our picks, the challenger stage and how it's gone, and a slight look forwards into the legend stage as well. Either way, thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll catch you in the next one.